Okay, y'all, good morning, good morning. Friday morning, man, Friday morning. We got a little bit of rain last night, not enough to do any damage. Uh, so, I got his kid steer already over here at this job. I uh, sent Toby to go do some lawn stuff this morning. Uh, take him about an hour and a half or so, and then he's gonna come down here too. Um, so on my dump trailer, I have the grapple bucket and I have the, uh, the forks, just in case, you know, this trailer gets hung up somewhere where we can't get it out with a truck. The skid steer can always grab the trailer. Uh, uh, Chucky's already over here. I, I did a little bit of work over here yesterday. So I really, you know, I spent, uh, probably about 45 minutes or so. So, yeah. So I appreciate the comments on the video yesterday and that's so bizarre how I lost that account, man. Uh, and I, I, I'm thinking back on it and I guess you guys are, you know, you guys are right. I should have, you know, I, I thought that I was doing them a solid based on me looking at the yard as I was sitting in front of it when I talked to him on the phone and I didn't see any, you know, edging really that, that couldn't wait. I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand all that, but I don't know, man. Uh, but I'm always trying to get better, and I, and I, so I'm looking at all that, uh, how I, how I dealt with them, and uh, maybe I was just too direct. Uh, it never occurred to me, and that's, I know that sounds crazy, it never occurred to me to go on an edge and weed eat and not mow the grass. The conversation that me and him had uh, on the phone, y'all only heard bits and pieces of it. Uh, but uh, because I'm telling them, it don't even need edging or weed eating. It, it can, and it's Bermuda grass. It ain't, you know, it ain't hardcore growing yet. So. I'm thinking to myself, let me save them some money and that'll get them on the same day as I got all these other ones and I'll be more in control of what day, if I did them all yesterday and which, which they were on the list. The thing that gets me and maybe I need to really analyze that internally is when customers start doing stuff like that, not that they really did anything. My, my thing is I texted them on Tuesday to do the yard, yes. I get over there, the yard's done. Okay. Well, I'm already my, my uh, I'm already a little, and they're a brand new customer. I've only cut the property one time. Uh, I've been doing the other ones over there for years, but I've cut the other one. Uh, you know, I've only cut this one one time, and yeah. But see, the way I lost that account is I've never lost an account like that before in, in that manner, where. They're not really saying exactly why, but I can only, and I texted him and I, and I asked him, I said, well, do you think that, you know, you can tell me why we lost the account so I can, you know, learn from it, right? You know, I, I mean, if I lose an account and it's not obvious, like I said yesterday, then I want to know why. Did I do something? Did my guys do something? Am, am I, am I, is my approach wrong? You know, what is it? You know, uh, And I, you know, uh, though I'm not going to spend a whole heap of time worrying about it, uh, but I don't like to lose accounts and me not know why and all. Uh, that's just me, man. I, I don't know how everybody else uh, thinks. Uh, but when I lose an account, I want to know why. If if I if I can, you know, find out. And I thought that we, that we had a had a a budding relationship going, you know. But I had a couple guys come in the comments, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, they, they wanted you to weed eat. I think Dirty came in there and was saying, man, you should have just jumped down and weed eat it and edged it. You know, I, I mean, if I known I was going to lose the account, I, I definitely would have done that because it, the, the weeding and the edging uh, wasn't terrible or nothing. Uh, we had just, we was just there two weeks ago. So, but the fact that Paw Paw, Mama, or whoever, you know, 
her, her daddy, the father-in-law, cut the grass. So that screwed everything up. It screws the money up too, though it's not it's not a lot of money. I ain't go way out of my way, but you know, I would have I would have put more work on the schedule uh, for yesterday uh, had I known that. Especially after I'm verifying on Tuesday that we're cutting on Thursday. So once I verify that, then you know, I, my thinking is okay. And it, this kind of thing has happened before, not with them, because I don't even know them. Uh, I've had other customers, you know, yeah, I'll be there Thursday, and then, you know, oh yeah, my brother-in-law came to visit me, he cut the grass. And I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I say to them, okay, no worries, we'll just catch it in the next time, right? And that was what I was thinking yesterday. I'm thinking I'm saving them money. And really, when I look back at it, I'm thinking, Man, I screwed myself out of an account because I had no, my, I had no ill will intentions. I wasn't, you know, I, I don't know, man. I just, I, I didn't handle that right. I don't think. I think I could have handled it better uh, had I given it a little more thought. That's what I think. But then I had to ask myself: Are they going to be problem customers? Are they gonna be the kind of customers that's gonna be a problem because of that kind of thing? Because I'm not gonna, I'm not the weed eating edge guy come weed eating edge for 35 bucks. I, I, that ain't what I do. And, and that screws my timing all up and it screws my money all up. I don't like to let customers do that. But sometimes I understand that I have to bend a little bit. And I, I thought I was bending by, you know, all I said to him was, hey, uh, it sure would have been nice if you had told me that. Just a little accountability for the agreement that we made. We, we made an agreement that I would cut the grass every two weeks when I cut the other ones. And to verify that agreement, you know, I I texted him on Tuesday night. And he was like, yeah, hell yeah. Looking forward to it. But, and then, you know, and then I ended up losing the account behind that? Come on, man. Anyway, that's a whole nother thing. So get this, so I lost that one for now. I don't know, they might come back when they see what kind of other uh, competition's out there. Uh, you never know, it might be somebody to come over there and do her yard and take the other three that I got over there. You just never know. I kind of really wanted to, wanted to keep that customer, but I wasn't thinking I would lose the account behind them cutting the grass before I got there. And I wasn't like I was trying to do the yard and charge them. I was trying to save them money. That's the craziest shit ever, dude. That was really my intention. My intention was not to to do the property uh, if it didn't need doing. I don't know, man. Just stupid shit, man. But uh, today I got the skid steer job. Uh, I'll get a little video. But down in the woods where I'm working at over here, it is a little bit, uh, well, it's all pine stuff. And where there's pine trees laying in the woods, there's, there's, there's cotton mouse, uh, poisonous snakes too. Guarantee it, guarantee it, we're gonna see some snakes. At least, yeah, I guarantee we're gonna see some snakes. So, so I'll try to get some footage somehow, some way, I'm not sure. Uh, these old folks over here, they, 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 a little bit, they might be a little bit funny about the camera, man. I kick it. Okay, y'all, so. Uh, this job, this is what I've been talking about. Uh, Y'all see all this debris and stuff in here. Uh, all this, I got the dump trailer, uh, but he says it does not have to be pretty. He says just get it uh, ground down, cleaned up. So I could not get my big saw to start this morning. I don't know what it is. It might have lost compression, but... Uh, uh, we're gonna push over some of these pines and we're gonna get in here and, and clean all this out I don't know how I'm gonna get a lot of footage over here because of the well the grounds uneven uh, a few things I need to watch out for I'm gonna put I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the grapple and we're gonna fill I'm gonna fill that dump cover up first thing first that's the first thing I'm gonna do is get some of this stuff out of the freaking way right so i can move around i can't hardly move around uh 
but y'all see what the job is. Uh, all that back in there. So let me get things situated and I'll try to put y'all on a tripod somewhere. Uh, but I don't really know where. Uh, but you can watch out for snakes in here, dude. I guarantee you, there's some snakes back here. Uh, this is where I keep my phone right here. I'll put that right there with that. Okay. Make sure my new guy here don't tear up my saw, y'all. Oh, he got a camera on. These saws are a little bit tricky. Right, so let me see something. You want a rag? I got a rag in the truck. No, no rag. We need Windex. No Windex. No, I know Windex. Yes, I'm just the same, man. So, okay, y'all. So uh, we're coming back tomorrow. Uh, we've been over here about seven hours right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, I probably pushed over 30 trees. Dead pine. And I saw, I, everywhere I look, I see more. So, well, I'm about to call it a day. He said, Oh, you only work seven hours, man. I'm like, Yeah, but I came by yesterday and worked an hour. Uh, you forgot about that, huh? Of course he forgot about it okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to grind this stump down and i'm gonna get that little skinny tree right there uh Okay guys, so y'all kind of see what we got done over there, uh, over here. Uh, I ain't getting a lot of footage, man. There's just so many obstacles in the way. It's hard to do, it's hard to get footage uh, uh, and stuff like that, man, because I knocked the camera over about five times and then the battery started acting, got hot. I mean, it's just, yeah, all that. So, but Toby did a good job today too. Uh, but he made he made good, you know. Uh, uh, Toby made two fifty today. So, and that clock ain't wrong, kind of, you know. Well, a day is, is is a day is is not seven hours. It's eight hours, you know. And I'm like, man. But he wants us to come back tomorrow. So that's sixteen hundred on the books. And we'll do another 800 tomorrow. Be 2400, 20 yeah, 2400. But I, but we might be. There's so much stuff to do around there that uh, we might be able to uh, get a whole day tomorrow. But I'm going in with a half a day. So in the morning, 
I'll send Toby to go do one yard in my neighborhood and then he can come over here uh, with an empty truck and trailer and he can uh, pull the dump trailer home. Because uh, I know we're not going to be over here any more than tomorrow. So, But he, you know, the old man back there, he's, I mean, I'm doing a lot more than what uh, he was thinking that we would do. Uh, because he doesn't realize how many trees I pushed over over 20 trees but old dead pines I mean just yeah I'm, I'm in the woods back there maneuvering around and I'm bumping into them and the tops falling out of them and uh, you know there's a lot to watch out for over there there's a fence right there you know that of course trees had already fallen falling through the fence and that I don't even know why I even got a fence back there uh, but he don't really care nothing about it being all cleaned up. He just wanted all the big stuff mulched down and all the uh, privet and, and all the underbrush, you know. But now, he it, it, it's nice, you know, compared to what it was. At least you can see down through there. Uh, I did not see any snakes, and I was very surprised that I didn't. Uh, now, what we did is we... We moved about what three loads over to the uh, to his burn pile, burn pit, and his burn pit is, is see if I'd have been him, and they got money, man. I mean, he ain't he, he ain't he's probably a millionaire. Uh, they got money, but you know, probably what I would have done if I'd have been him. I probably would have just uh, hauled that stuff to the dump because the dump's not far from here. It's only about a 10 minute ride. That's what I would have done if I'd have been them, you know, uh, and then be done with it. See, now he's got to go back and, and fool with all that, man. And you got to have a piece of equipment to do that. So, but we got, uh, we got a lot done. It's not as neat as I like it to be though. Uh, you know, it, it, to me, man, I don't know, man. It's hard to get everything real pretty when you're doing mulching like that. You know, and I did. I knew better than to try to mulch up. I knew better than to try to mulch up everything. Again, my machine is only 75 horsepower, so it can't it can't mulch up, and that's why I don't have a forestry mulcher. It can't mulch up like a big, like, you know, I don't know, the 97 can or whatever. But it does pretty good, you know. He made $880 in five days. And it ain't even close to 40 hours. Not even close. Might be, might be 30 hours. That's good, man. But you know, your business has got to be in a place to where you can pay a guy that. So he used to, I might have could have paid a guy that, but I didn't know what I was doing. You know, so I'm trying to pay somebody less, and but they didn't know what he knows either. He's definitely worth uh, what I'm paying him for sure. I mean, for sure. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, y'all know, I'm gonna run right on here into Jersey Mike's, and grab that damn steak and cheese, y'all. Steak and cheese. And another thing too, uh, I'm okay with. You know, a half a day tomorrow. He want, he didn't want to do a whole day tomorrow, but it might turn into that. You never know. But we're doing a lot of stuff that uh, that somebody with a mulcher don't do. We're trimming trees with the pole saw. Uh, we're doing a lot of little things, man. Of course, when you're getting paid by the day, that's uh, I mean that's that takes time. So uh, I don't like doing it by the day for sure. And that's one of the reasons why is because you got customers counting the hours and stuff. And I don't like, I don't, I don't, because whether I'm doing it by the day or by the job, I'm pretty much going to do it the same way. The process is going to be the same. I'm still going to put a guy in the bucket and trim up, trim a few branches. I'm still going to, you know, trade the attachments. I'm still going to, uh, you know, do everything, do everything just like I, you know, would but see now you see why 
I pushed the skid steer job to Friday so we could do Friday and maybe Saturday. But you always want to be able to get another day in or whatever if you can when you got a skid steer. Always, to me, unless the job is just, you know, a bad job, you know. Uh, but I ain't gonna take on no 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 too, too bad a job, not knowingly. Contrary to what people might say, you've been sitting on a machine all day. But yeah, that beats you up though. I don't care what kind of seat you got or anything. It beats you up and it's mentally taxing too uh, because you have to watch what you're doing. Uh, you can't be, you know, and I'm not, you know, I don't have 20 years experience on a skid steer, you know. I'm, I'm, I've only been running a skid steer since, well, and not full time or uh, 2019, something like that. But I'll get a little probably a little better video tomorrow. So I'll have more time and I won't have all these things, obstacles in my way. Man, there's so much that they're out there. It's just brutal, man. And a chipper would have been even a chipper would have been a lot of work. It would have done it, but you'd have to have more labor. It'd cost a lot more money. But I don't like it. But when you do it by the day like that, I don't like to. Uh, I don't like to do that. I, I, I mean, I can't stand it because then the customers, you know, well, they want to try to manage the job and shit, and that is not that that, that, that ain't gonna work. They want to try to manage my time for me. I was like, well, hell, man, you spent 15 minutes doing that when really you could have been doing this, you know, that kind of thing. But they were their project manager now because, you know. And then what happens if the machine breaks down? Say you're over there by the day and I, I, I blow a hydraulic line. What do I do? And that, and the, well, it starts creating some, some confusion then. It gets a little complicated then because... I was there three hours and 30 minutes before that line bus. No, you wasn't. You was only there about two hours. You know. You do it by the job. The homeowner going about their business. They ain't got to sweat. The, they ain't got to sweat the time or nothing. Uh, and not that he was really sweating me, but I did tell him, you know, um, that I'd be leaving about 3:30, 3:45. Who said that ain't eight hours? No, but that's seven and a half. So, uh, and I came by yesterday, and I don't know, and he's an old timer. I expect that from old timers, really. You know. If I'd have done it by the job, I'd have charged him 3000 and I would I would have came over there and done, done one long day. And done with it. But I know I gotta come back tomorrow no matter what, so let's go on and, and, and do the day. But we were very productive in the time that we were there, very. I mean, I don't know where he's gonna find somebody to do all that, you know. By the day is, well, that's a distorted view, really, because you factor another truck, another guy, a dump trailer, a brush cutter, a grapple bucket, and a skill set too when it comes to tree work and stuff like that. I know I know what I'm doing when it comes to trees and stuff, you know. And I know what trees not to fool with, and I know what I can and can't do. So he ain't gonna rent all that stuff. Uh, pole saw. We did a lot of things besides just run the uh, run the skid steer. So, but y'all know what it is, man. Sammy, time Friday, y'all deuces.